Hi, this is Zen, the Crypto Queen, and I wanted to launch right in with talking about uh, XRP, where the price is going, news today, what's happening um, in the crypto world, and how it links to banks, and why Credit Suisse matters. So it's the biggest financial institution in the world. That's why it matters. And, you know, look at what's happening now. we got s some banks struggling, things are falling apart, and... Unless you're connecting the dots, you might not see some of the things that are going on in this world and how blockchain technology and crypto are going to creep right into your life, whether you like it or not. So if you're a newbie to crypto and you have uh, some questions you want one-on-one -on -one attention with, please email me at zendevin at gmail.com to set up your own session. And that is one-on-one. -on -one. And please put crypto in uppercase letters. I missed seven emails last week. I can't even believe it. I finally responded. So to those people, so sorry about that. I don't want to miss yours. So please put it in uppercase letters. Um, enough about that. I just wanted to tell you this is not uh, financial advice. I simply share what I research and what I look for to see how to connect the dots in this world. It isn't often that easy, but it, again, then again, it's not that hard either. So I want you to pay attention to these kinds of things. And I'll leave a link for this um, this particular uh, article and the other videos that I'm going to show you in a minute because it's important. This is on CNN Business, but um, maybe you're not following. I don't know. Anyway, um, you know, they've been raising interest rates, trying to slow down inflation and cool the economy, but Look at what it's done to banks. And, you know, those Silicon Valley Bank collapsed. And what's going to happen with Credit Suisse? Well, interesting stuff ahead. So stay with me here because I thought that this was the next best news story since 2008. Okay. And what happened in 2008? You know what they call it the GFC, Great Financial Crash. So get ready. So here we go. Um, you know, Lifeline from Swiss National Bank could buy some time for Credit Suisse, but, you know, they may not be out of the woods yet. So read the article, um, come to your own conclusions, but banks are in trouble. Okay, end of the story. What's going to happen next? Yeah, baby, XRP Ledger. And that is going to happen so subtly for the average person who is not paying attention. Um to how things actually work. So the shift to blockchain technology is not going to be noticeable for a lot of people, in my opinion. It's just going to go from one protocol to another, and you're not going to notice unless you're paying attention. So uh, you may or may not want to pay attention. I mean, that's, you know, your prerogative, but it's there. So I'm going to play you just this because I want you to understand about uh, FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. I want, to, I want you to understand how big the market actually is and what your new normal is going to be soon. Conservative scale is going to surpass over $50 trillion within the next coming years. It is going to happen fast. Very fast. Like I said, you might not even notice. It's just going to happen. It's going to happen normal. quick. People are going to be extremely stunned with what's about to happen because the amount of FUD the media put towards the crypto sector way and then it's just going to be the new normal it's going to be just the new normal with that being said ladies and gentlemen it's going to be just the new normal and that was meant to say fud not fun fud stands for fear uncertainty and doubt you know uh the media loves to shake that up in people because it shakes out retail investors like you and me they just want whales in there and you know the stock market has been inundated with that over the years I used to think growing up that, you know, you um, you couldn't play with stocks unless you were a real player, you know, putting in over 100 grand or, or more and being willing to lose it. And that's simply not true. I mean, there's money to be made on a small scale and on a large scale in both stocks and in crypto. And I'm going to be getting into that probably next week when I return to Florida because right now I'm in California Long story there, won't get into it, but um, I need the time to sit and take a look at charts and figure out how I want to do it and what coins I want to play with. And you know that XRP is on that scale, so I'm just going to leave it there. Okay, let's go over here. And I just want to play a few parts of this for you because um, 
It's important for you to know. But that's not what's actually happening. The banks are paying interest on their loans that only last one year. The directors and shareholders are also getting nuked, so no one will lend. Thus, deflation. It's not the 2008 playbook. Yeah, this is going to go down just a little differently. Pay attention. Wall Street Silver has a great follow-up to that. He says, For all of the various reasons that have led us to this lethal juncture, central banks are now doing the exact opposite of what they did in 2008. They are tightening into a burgeoning credit crisis, which means we have entered the most lethal financial crisis since 1930. So in 2000... So this, that adds up to, whether you put that together or not, 2008 was the great financial crisis. He's just said 1930. That was the Great Depression. So I want you to be prepared. Let's go. 2008, when we had these banks like Indy Mac, Fannie and Freddie Mae, Lehman Brothers, AIG, and Merrill Lynch all collapse. It all started with a rate cut, right? That's when the real bear market dip happens, when the Federal Reserve pivots. Look at what's happening in the past two years. Instead of a rate cut, we've had rate... Have, has the average person been paying attention for the past two years? That's my question. Okay, sorry. Let's go. Hikes. And the European Central Bank is still hiking rates. And look at the U.S. bank index right now. We've already had five banks go under. Five. In the past two weeks. And I've only heard that story and talked about it with two people. Two. It's not looking good, guys. Speaking of banks going under, UBS just offered to acquire Credit Suisse for $1 billion. This means that Credit Suisse shareholders would be paid $0.27 cents per share, an 87% discount to the two point. I love this part. This is either the biggest lowball offer of all times or Credit Suisse is in serious trouble. Yeah, I think so. $01 closing price on Friday. This is either the biggest lowball offer of all time or Credit Suisse is in serious trouble. I just said that. I think we're going to have more banks following suit here. Yep. Crazy times to be in. Crazy times to be in. And I'm going to leave it right there. But I just want to bring you right back here for one second. Okay? XRPL, Ledger. Okay? Uh, not financial advice, once again. But do your research on XRP, XLM, XDC. Quant, uh, Algorand, those are all ISO 20022 coins. If you don't know what that means or you would like further explanation, you could find it in my videos. I'll try and find that link and post it in the description box below. Uh, as usual, thanks so much for being with me today. Appreciate you all, love you all, and I'll see you on the next video. Ciao for now.